To start, we make a new file 1600 pixels wide and 1600 pixels high. To position the elements easier, we will create guidelines on 60px and 1200px. Square UI Packet contains a file with a color palette, so that during the designing of the website it is easy to pick the colors that are in the palette made for Square UI. To create the main menu, we use the Rectangle tool. We turn off stroke and use green swatches we loaded for fill color. We change the name of the layer to organize the PSD file. The next thing we do is to create content base, also using the rectangle tool. For fill color, we use dark gray swatches. Changing the layer name again. Next step is to create the footer base. We set the fill color to light blue. Just like we made the horizontal guidelines, we set the vertical ones on 200px and 1400px. We create the main menu by using text tool to write sign in. We copy the layer and type register. We set the font size to 18pt, and by using the move tool, we position the buttons. The next step is to create the logo that will also be the home button. We make a rectangle using dark gray as fill color. In the file elements.psd, We now detect the menu icon and drag and drop it into our document.
The next step is to import the logo in vector format and change its size and place to make it fit. Double click the logo layer, check the color overlay and pick the white color. Now we add the text square and the logo is set. To make everything organized better, we will group elements together. We make the Logo group and the Menu group containing both logo and buttons. Next, we detect the header part in the typography document and we drag and drop it into our document. We erase the layers that we don't need and with the Move tool we position the element. In the next step, we detect and drag and drop the Futures part. Just some more adjustments and changes of the text to make the element fit in our design. As you can see, it is all very simple. We only use the Move tool, Text tool, and Rectangle tool. We make the font in the headline smaller and change it to 36 pt. We erase the separating line that we missed. We move the green line between the headline and the description. Now, we need a larger window that we will detect and drag and drop. It has to be bigger than the rest, so we'll enlarge it and position it in the middle. We will bring the footer base layer on the top so that the big window is behind it and make it look like it is emerging from the footer. Now we detect and drag and drop the footer menu. Using the Move tool, we adjust its position. Now we find the separator line and we place it above the menu.
The big window in the middle is the same color as the window in the future section, so we will change the color to purple. We simply click on the layer icon and pick the desired color. We repeat this on the rest of the elements of the window. To make the background more interesting, we use the city graphics from our library. We drag and drop in position. We will double the layer so that the buildings continue to the other side. Now we will import another graphics that will be used for the middle section. They draw too much attention, so we will change their opacity to 10% to make it look much better. We group the layers again, and we name the group Background. Now we select all the groups and contain the content section element and put them into a new group called content. We duplicate the logo and text layers and position them in the footer section above the separator line. Now we make the logo icon bigger to make it easier to spot. In the end, we introduce the social icons that we position on the right above the separator line. We turn off the guidelines and our design is finished. Thank you for watching.